Dressler syndrome is a form of pericarditis that occurs after injury of heart or the pericardium. Dressler syndrome more commonly occurs after myocardial infarction. That's why it is also called postmyocardial infarction syndrome. It develops less than 10% after myocardial infarction. Nowadays it's rarer because of percutaneous coronary intervention. Symptoms Fever, pleuritic pain, pericarditis, pericardial effusion. Pericardial friction rub, chest pain worsening when recumbent, and diffuse ST elevation with PR segment depression. On ECG. ST segment elevation and PR segment depression. The erythrocyte sedimentation rate is elevated. The symptoms occur 2-3 to three weeks after myocardial infarction may be delayed. Prognosis. More commonly it subsides in a few days. Very rare complication is pericardial tamponade. Causes. It is believed to result from an autoimmune inflammatory reaction to myocardial neoantigens formed as a result of the acute myocardial infarction. Similar pericarditis can be associated with any pericardiotomy or trauma to the pericardium or heart surgery. Dressler syndrome is best treated with high-dose aspirin. Corticosteroids can increase the risk of impaired ventricular healing leading to an increased rate of ventricular rupture. Heparin should be avoided because it can lead to hemorrhage into the pericardial sac, leading to tamponade. Heparin can be used in case of acute myocardial infarction same time with Dressler syndrome.